Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how you can show contrast in your sentences. Now, we previously learned the form jiman, which means but, and therefore is used for showing contrast between two different halves of a sentence. For example, 저도 같이 놀고 싶지만 시간이 없어요. I also want to hang out together, but I have no time. So this sentence shows contrast. It shows that there's something different between the first and second parts of the sentence. In this lesson, we're going to be learning the te form, which can also be used to show contrast between two parts of a sentence. It can translate as but, but it can also sometimes translate as and, depending on the sentence. It shows contrast between two parts of a sentence, but not as much contrast as the chiman form. So let's learn how to use this new te form. Now, the way that you're going to conjugate it will actually depend on the type of verb that you're using. So first of all, let's look at how we can use it with action verbs. First, get the verb stem of an action verb. And then attach nunde. Then, finish the rest of the sentence. Or you can attach yo if it's used at the end of a sentence. For example, chowahada, to like, would become Chuahanende. Or, mokta, to eat, would become mongnende. Action verb stems that end with the consonant lir will remove it and then attach nende. So, salda, to live, would become sanende. Also, the verb ita, to exist, will become innende. And, opta, to not exist, will become omnende. The way that this te form works will be a little bit different when using a descriptive verb. So to do that, first get the verb stem of a descriptive verb. Then you'll either attach unde if it ends in a consonant, or attach a nian followed by te if it ends in a vowel. Then finish the rest of the sentence, or attach yo if it's used at the end of a sentence. For example, chinjor hada to be kind would become. Chinjorhande. And chuta to be good would become chunde. For descriptive verb stems that end with the consonant lir, remove it and then attach nian followed by te. So kilda to be long would become kinde. For verb stems that end with the consonant biup, remove it and then attach u followed by nian te. For example, Mepta, to be spicy, would become meunde. Now, as this form can actually be a bit tricky to translate exactly into English, depending on how it's being used and the sentence, let's first just take a look at several example sentences that use this te form. 저는 미식 축구를 좋아하는데 축구를 더 좋아해요. I like American football, but I like soccer more. 비가 오고 있는데 우산이 없어요. It's raining, but I don't have an umbrella. 아침에 눈이 왔는데 지금은 안 추워요. It snowed in the morning, but now it's not cold. 등산을 하는 게 재미있는데 비싸요. Hiking's fun, but expensive. 병원에 갔는데 의사를 만날 수 없었어요. I went to the hospital, but I couldn't meet the doctor. 바쁜데 만날 수 있어요? You're busy, but can you meet? 김치는 매운데 맛있어요. Kimchi is spicy, but delicious. Or, kimchi is spicy and delicious. So now we've learned this new form, te, but let's go back a bit and compare it with our previous form, jiman, which also means but. There are some situations where the te form will actually sound much more natural than using jiman. And the first one is whenever you're trying to explain something. The te form will be used much more often when you're trying to explain something that has the word but. This will be similar to saying, I'm trying to explain that, or you see, or so at the start of a sentence. Here are some examples of that. 
오늘 시간이 없는데요? I don't have any time today. You see, I don't have any time today. Or so, I don't have any time today. Or, well, I'm trying to explain, I don't have any time today. 내일 영화를 보러 갈 건데요? I'll go see a movie tomorrow. Note that the future tense, 거시다 form, can combine with this te form to become 거신데, or more commonly just 건데. 포도가 맛있는데 너무 배불러요. The grapes are delicious, but I'm too full. 제 방에서 정말 큰 거미를 봤는데 좀 잡아주세요. I saw a really big spider in my room, so please catch it. But the best way to learn anything in Korean is always going to be through lots of exposure and practicing it yourself. So here's a conversation practice that will use this te form between two people. First, Sehun says, 오늘 혹시 백현 씨를 봤어요? Today, by chance, did you see 백현? 네, 오늘 아침에 씨를 읽고 있었어요. Yes, today in the morning, or this morning, he was reading a poem. 어떤 씨를 읽고 있었는데요? What kind of poem was he reading? 몰라요. I don't know. 하지만 백현 씨는 씨를 읽는 걸 좋아해요. But Baekhyun likes reading poems. 씨를 읽고 울고 있었어요. He was reading a poem and crying. 왜 울고 있었어요? Why was he crying? 씨가 그렇게 슬펐어요? Was the poem that sad? The adverb 그렇게, like that, can also translate as just that. So here it would mean, it was that sad? 몰라요. I don't know. 제가 안 봤으니까요. Because I didn't see it. 궁금했는데 볼수 없었어요. I was curious, but I couldn't see it. 수호 씨도 씨를 좋아하지 않아요? Don't you also like poems, Suho? 좋아하는데 책을 더 좋아해요. I like them, but I like books more. 오늘 혹시 백현 씨를 봤어요? 네, 오늘 아침에 시를 읽고 있었어요. 어떤 시를 읽고 있었는데요? 몰라요. 하지만 백현 씨는 시를 읽는 걸 좋아해요. 시를 읽고 울고 있었어요. 왜 울고 있었어요? 시가 그렇게 슬펐어요? 몰라요. 제가 안 봤으니까요. 궁금했는데 볼수 없었어요. 수호 씨도 시를 좋아하지 않아요? 좋아하는데 책을 더 좋아해요. But before we go, a quick note. Now, there are several ways in Korean, and we've already seen two, to show contrast between sentences in Korean. But remember that still, the most basic way to show contrast with something is just by using the regular topic marker, un or nun, which we previously learned. You can think of the topic marker as just meaning as for, or when it comes to. And using this topic marker will create contrast without having to use any additional grammar. So in this lesson, we learned a new form, the te form, which can be used for creating contrast between two parts of a sentence. So practice everything here, and I'll see you again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.